I'm bringing a sensitive message out here. And I want you to lend me your ears as far as this message is concerned. If you dress nakedly, you're going to incur the wrath of God, either now or hereafter. The message is all about half naked dressing. Half naked dressing has become a world spiritual epidemic across the universal church. It has become so popular and globally accepted that even gospel ministers see nothing wrong anymore with the ways and manners the so-called daughters of Zion exposes their nakedness all in the name of fashion or self-expression. Fashion and self-expression, my foot. My friend, they may do it in Babylon. You don't bring it to Giga. They may accept it in Philistine. You don't bring it to Jerusalem. You are simply bringing the wrath of God upon yourself. And pastors, ministers, and general overseers and churches who see nothing again to be wrong with half-naked dressing, they are no longer serving the Lord. They have become agencies of destruction. I tell you the truth. These days, people dress nakedly and shamefully, and none is willing to correct them. Churches and preachers, have since kept quiet over base, sensitive matter, all because they have compromised and bastardized the real gospel. My major concern in this message as a preacher is to let out the cart. Oh yes, I tell you the truth. I really want to lose the horse so that the horse can have the freedom again in order for you and me to choose where we are actually going. A major concern in this message is to correct every satanic dress code, satanic dancing steps, hellish songs that are trending in the body of Christ today. You go to some churches, listen to the kind of songs they are singing. You look at the dressing of the so-called song leader the dressing of the pastor's wife, the dressing of the daughters of Zion. You look at the choir, so disgusting. The way they dress like refined Jezebel, they dress as agencies of destruction. I'm not going to tolerate that anymore. All those nonsensical nonsense trending in the body of Christ must be waged war against and gotten eradicated. Virtually all the churches of nowadays have become beauty parade centers. Oh yes, cinema houses, breast exhibition arena, scene selling mall, scene advertising agencies, or better still, worldliness manufacturing companies. That's what you see in so many churches you go to. I can't stop wondering about where we actually missed it as a church. And of course, how it has degenerated today, recently, the Lord opened my understanding to certain norms and industries in our society, which crept on our wheels and unchecked into the church. Amongst many others of such norms and industries, that have crept into the church and corrupting the church in terms of dressing, singing, dancing, and trying to praise the name of the Lord. Number one, movie industries. Look at them. What do they do? How do they act and dress in the movie industries that you are not seeing in the church today? Of course, even on the altar, beauty pageant competition industry. Yes, music industry football industry, BB Niger industry, worldly music, talent hunt industry, modeling, and people will be twisting themselves. Must you naked yourself because you want to become a model? What type of model are you? You are satanic, you are hellish, and you are corrupting the younger and upcoming generation. Your judgment is great in the sight of God unless you repent now, I mean now, and change from those nonsensical nonsense. Campus freedom. Some of the girls 
who dresses well at home, the moment they get to campus, they suddenly become so free and they dress as if they do not have godly and, you know, uh, yes, godly foundation. As if they have never visited Calvary in their lives. As if they don't have godly parents at home. As if they are not taught the ways of the Lord. As if they have never read the Bible in their lives. They go to campus and they start to copy those who have no cross they bear and those who are not serving the Lord in their lives. If you are one of them, you better change and change for good now. BB Niger Industry. Worldly music, talent hunting, you know, industry, modeling, campus freedom, a night of 1,000 lives. Go there and see the way they dress. Comedy, freedom of expression, banking sector, and even hospital staffs. It pains me that we are people ought to get to and learn decorum, morality, godliness. What do you see over there now? Nakedness, breast exhibition, everywhere. Go to the hospital and look at the way nurses are dressing. You go to the banking sector and look at the way they dress. In fact, they even use it as you know advertising method. They use it to woo careless men and stupid men into becoming their customers. That shouldn't be. You don't need to go to that extent to secure customers. Particularly if you say you are a child of God, they want to suck you, let them suck you. Dress decently and godly. When the church slept, these norms and industries crept into the church and took over the pulpit. They took over our messages and thereby replacing godly dressing with nudity and carnality. Presently, as I speak with you, most churches are guilty of worldliness, they are guilty of nudity and carnality because they have refused to wake up from their spiritual slumber. My prayer is that Jesus should not try to come now. Yes, although in my heart I want him to come, but each time I look at the church, I pray secretly that Jesus should not come now until sanity, sanctity has taken place within the universal church. Or else, if Christ should come now, that is going to be a complete and fantastic labor loss. Now, let me ask you in particular, is your church worldly? As you are hearing this message, I'm asking you, is your church worldly or you are the one introducing worldliness into your church? Answer that question. I want to ask you again, how do you normally dress? Whom are you dressing to please? Are you dressing after the system and the custom of the world? Some would say, I'm a slayer, then you are a killer. Some will say, I am this, I am that. That you walk across, you know, some men or some ladies and they will have to look and look and look at you because you are introducing them into lust. God is not happy with such dressing. Change and your name will be written in the book of life. I want to ask you again, do you think your heavenly father will appreciate or approve the way you dress? I'm just asking you. The most avoid the corruption and the pollution and delusion in dressing. Because if you don't avoid all this, eternal rest will be far from you. Eternal rest cannot be your portion. Regardless of your sex, you must always dress godly, saintly, corporately, and presentably to earn both heavily and earthly respect. Some people, the way they dress, heaven cannot respect them, the art cannot respect them. Don't drag your father's name in the mud. Don't drag your father's name in sin. Don't drag your father's honor in the mud. I'm warning you, the world of sin, the mud of sin, and the world of carelessness. They are to stand out and teach others the proper way of godly and acceptable dressing in a society because the pollution of nudity and careless dressing has pervaded the world already. I say pain in my heart that the church that has been called upon to oversee things that are right and inculcate 
no no uh, spirituality uprightness and morality into people the same church is sleeping what a pity let's consider the effect of half naked dressing before i close is a short exhortation when you dress you know nakedly you dress in a half naked manner what's going to happen number one it brings shame and insult to your maker you don't know that's why i'm bringing it to you you remember when adam and eve misbehaved in the garden and they were naked what did they do they were looking for figs leaves to cover themselves but the almighty himself looked for animals skin to cover their nakedness the moment you say you are a child of god you must stand out in dressing dress to please the lord don't dress according to the system and uh, the method of the of the world don't look at the people in the world and mirror your dressing after them no look after god let people look at your dressing and praise the family where you come from and also give glory to god for the way you have chosen to be of a better conduct and also to lead others in serving the lord acceptably when you dress half nakedly i tell you the truth it brings shame and insult to your maker number two it reduces your honor before those who fear God. When people who fear God sees you, it reduces your honor before them. Yes, it's going to reduce your honor before such people. They look at you and say something is actually wrong with you. Someone in his right senses couldn't have dressed the way you appear. You have the gut to walk around in the neighborhood, on the street, even to come to church with the way you are dressing. Something is definitely wrong with you. Those who know God, those who are serving the Lord and expecting the rapture, when they look at such dressing, they don't hate you, but the dressing is glorifying the devil. They hate it. Anything that brings glory to God, we never, we never catch the fancy of those who truly serve the Lord now rolling the race expectedly. Number three, it attracts dangerous reptiles and carnivorous animals animals as human beings around you when you dress half naked you see people like reptiles like python that can swallow you you will not know they want to befriend you and people like and like uh, you know uh, chimpanzee people like lion and cheetah carnivorous animals as human beings they begin to gather around your life when you dress half nakedly you are indirectly nicknaming yourself for evil you are a case and a bad example in the society in fact if you are a lady and you dress half naked you can be raped go and ask about some ladies who are raped because of the way they dress when you expose what you ought to cover with your clothes and that you no know, just go into the hearts and it appeals to the, to the senses of those who are not truly regenerated by heart as men they grab you they will rape you and sometimes you get pregnant because of your foolishness and stupidity don't dress carelessly i'm warning you otherwise you will perish some will say that can dressing take somebody to hell oh yes oh yes dressing can take you to hell fire you cannot dress to kill people you can't dress to make people backslide and you expect the lord to look at you kindly and give you a defeating hero's welcome when you appear in glory after that no it throws you into hell because many people are backslidden because of your dressing dress well dress well i'm warning you as a man dress well i'm warning you as a lady the effect of negative dressing half naked dressing yes you will raise unknown followers that will be dressing exactly like yourself People will tend to take you to be their idol, their model, their focus, their mentor, and the fellow they look up to, and they will be dressing like you. Instead of influencing people positively to serve the Lord, you are now influencing them to serve the devil. Your judgment is great in the sight of God. You are a bad woman in the society. Half-naked dressing, it makes heaven 
to label you evil like Jezebel. They look at, they look at you like Jezebel. In, in the book of uh, First Kings, and of course, uh, Revelation combined, the two books of the Bible, they made mention of two different personalities named Jezebel, but they had you no know, equal attributes, negative traits in their lives, and none of them actually lived for God. When you dress half nakedly, heaven is going to label you evil like Jezebel. If you are dressing like that, your family that is godly will not want to associate with you. You'll be bringing shame onto them publicly because you are going to disgust them. You're going to disgust them. The effect of half naked dressing on godly people may want to like you love you and promote your evil because they do they are spiritually blind they don't know what god expects from us therefore don't allow them to press you and clap you into her when you dress half nakedly rest will be far from you because enemies will attack you satan will attack you heaven will attack you and your judgment will be great in the sight of the lord in uh, proverbs chapter 7 and in verse 10 proverbs chapter 7 verse 10 it says and behold they are met him a woman with the attire of an hallowed and subtle of heart a wreath and attire of hallowed don't wear it as a daughter of zion don't wear it as a son of zion if you have been wearing it pull it off now and go and burn it and start dressing normally if you appear in heaven after dead with this kind of your dressing you are going to weep endlessly eternally don't say you are not one god bless you as you change amen